Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are going to be making a chicken and leek pot pie. This is a super quick dinner that you can make for your family during the week. I think in total it took a little under an hour from prep to finish. It's such a warm, comforting dish, perfect for the colder seasons coming up. Alright, let's get into what we'll need. We're making it super easy for this recipe. We're using a rotisserie chicken that we just got at the supermarket. Go ahead and shred it up and put it to the side. You get a lot of meat from this whole chicken. For this recipe, I only really ended up using half of the chicken, but you can use all of it depending on what you like. Now we're gonna cut up our leek. If you've never used a leek before or if where you're at they don't have leeks, it's pretty much like a giant green onion slash scallion. Um, so if you don't have leeks, using an onion instead will definitely work. Also make sure to wash your leek very well because dirt gets trapped, can get trapped inside of all of the crevices. Then we're gonna heat up a large skillet to medium high, add in four tablespoons of salted butter, let that melt a little bit and then add in your leeks. Stir it around for a few minutes until the leeks are soft. Then we'll throw in one can of cream of chicken and half cup whole milk. Keep on mixing it until it looks like this and then we'll add in one bag of frozen mixed vegetables. And then sprinkled in some garlic powder and put in half of the rotisserie chicken, which is probably around two cups or so. Then we'll sprinkle some salt and pepper to taste. Now we are getting to the dough portion, but first make sure to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. For the pot pie dough, I used the Pillsbury pie crust that is in the refrigerated section, and it comes in a two pack, which is perfect. All right, so place your first sheet of dough into your sprayed pan, press it down into the pan, and then the excess that is hanging over the edge, we will just take a knife and trace it along the pan to trim those off. Then we're going to put our filling into our pie crust and then lay our second sheet of dough on top. Now this step definitely was pretty fun in my opinion. You're gonna take the top layer of dough and fold it under the bottom layer and continue to do that around the whole pie until you have a nice little dough pillow. Now if you do get any rips or tears into the dough, be sure to use the excess portions that you uh, cut off earlier and you can just kind of patch it up. Then we're gonna cut a few slits on the top for airflow. Now we're gonna bake it between 30 and 35 minutes until the top is golden brown. This is such a delicious dinner that I guarantee everyone will love. I'd be surprised if it didn't become a staple in your household because it's just that easy and so good. Thank you so much everyone for watching the video. Please comment down below if you end up making this and how you like it. Also, just wanna thank everyone for the support on our videos. We are almost at 100 subscribers and it feels totally unreal. So please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already.